Okay. For brief, let me just kick things off by saying congratulations on the HD remaster of Calvair. Thank you. It's been a long time, you know? Yeah, yeah. It, 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 it has been a long time. Um, but it's a great film. Um, Calvair translates to the ordeal. And uh, it is quite an ordeal that happens in this film. <laughs> Um, just to kind of kick things off, uh, what was the light bulb moment, the big switch in your head that gave you the idea to, I know you're a co-writer on it, but um, the uh, inspiration for the uh, plot of this movie? Well, you know, I was on my way to make my, my to, to become a, a filmmaker. So I, I, I made some short films at the time and I was, uh, I was pushing hard to make a, a feature, first feature just like all filmmakers try to do. <laughs> and a uh, uh, first feature, it always happens once. So I, I tried to find something to, to tell. And, and uh, we had that idea about, you know, playing with some elements that kind of uh, American film, horror film that we love. Of course, Texas Chainsaw Massacre or, or Deliverance. And we tried to, to play with those elements, but I think it was in kind of a very European way uh, or European view, I mean. So, and then we work and we had that idea about a man, you know, can, can be a kind of a substitute to uh, a very strong community of men. So, and we rewrote the script and then we tried to fin finance the, the film. That was a big, 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 um, big issue. But finally we succeeded and we made the film in a very, in a, in a few weeks. And, and uh, when we finished the film, shooting the film, uh, a few weeks after uh, my producer showed the film to the Critics Week at Cannes and they won the film for, for Cannes. So it, 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 it went very slow in the first part and then very fast in the second part. Yeah, it, it, but in, you know, it's, it's, been a, it's been a while now for me. Yeah, well, well, this film hit at what is called the height of French extremism cinema. Uh, does that mean anything to you as an artist to be part of a movement of films that were coming out at the time? No, because uh, it means nothing for, to me, and I'm sorry to say that, because uh, uh, French extreme doesn't exist. Uh, it's uh, really, um, uh, it's something that American uh, critics invent piece for piece. Uh, I, know, I know a lot of uh, French uh, film director who, you probably think about being part of uh, uh, that that film extreme, uh, but label. I mean, but we are very different. We are friends, we, we, but we made some very different. What, what I can tell, it's at the time early two thousand. I think uh, there is a singular voice who emerge. That's true uh, in France, Belgium, Spain. There is different film director who emerged with a very, very strong point of view and, and also um, under the influence of uh, great Japanese cinema or American cinema and even European cinema and try to find their own voice. Um, but I, I never consider myself to be part of a movement, you know, and I think Pascal Logier, Gaspar Noé, or Xavier Jeans, or, or others, film director, never uh, thought about that either. You know, neither. I think um, that's that's American. Critical. Yeah. No, I got, I got you. Uh, let's dive into the nitty gritty of the movie a little bit. Um, just kind of going back, if you can recall, and I'm sure you can. Uh, what are some of the directorial notes you gave to these actors to help uh, help them craft such unsettling uh, moments on screen? I, I, well, I'm, so, I'm sorry, Tyler, but I, I didn't give anything to the actor. I, I pick them, I choose them, and then we try to work in a very 
uh, in a very intense way. Uh, I, I know Laurent, I knew Laurent because he reacts very strongly to the script and, and he wants it to be part of the film. At the time, he, 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 he made a very famous French film, uh, Harry, uh, Un Ami Qui Vous Fait Du Bien by, by Dominique Moll, was a very big hit in France. So he was quite famous. He, he accepted to, to play in Calvert, the lead, and I was so delighted and very happy about that. And um, I, I picked Jackie Berroyer, you know, to play Bartel because I know I knew him from television and Canal Plus at the time. And and we made some rehearsal together, so some read through, and and I I I, I plan to. Uh, to design, to design the film, to storyboard the film, and we pick location, and and we made some rehearsal together. But and they knew probably that I wanted to 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 go to go to flirt with the limit, you know, of the grotesque and the horror and and the comedy also, because I always thought that Calvert is a black comedy. You know, I, I was. Oh, it, just like, and I don't want to compare, of course, but for me, it takes us Chainsaw Massacre. It's a black comedy too. You can laugh to it, yeah. you know, a lot. Um, so I wanted to make something a little bit with a sense of grotesque and poetic, poetical and, and, and extreme in a way, you know, because the concept is extreme, you know, uh, a man who, find another man as, uh, as his uh, disappeared wife, you know, and then the community of men, you know, it's, it's just like there is some comic elements in, into it. Interesting. Uh, I want to talk about just the um, cinematography a little bit, uh, because one of the standout shots in the film, a personal favorite of mine, uh, was that high angle looking down at all that craziness going on. Um, what was just some of the motivation behind uh, the cinematography of the movie? Well, you know, um, Benoit Deby was the cinematographer at the time of, of Calvert, and, and he made Irreversible uh, 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 by Gaspar Noé a few years before. And uh, Benoit, uh, I started with Benoit. I made the short. Uh, I made a short film, Wonderful Love, with uh, with Benoit a few years later. And based on the on, on the on the short film that Gaspar Noé saw, uh, he hired uh, Benoit to make Irreversible um, just before I, I, we, do, we, we did Calvaire. Uh, so uh, Benoit at the time and I were, were very close and, um, and we decided when we, we planned, we, th we thought a lot about, about, about Calvaire and I wanted to make something a little bit more with a, with a different perspective perspective, you know, it's, it, it, it slides from uh, realism, you know, for hyperrealism to expressionism in a way. So, you know, it's a movement, um, it's, um, it's a, you slip into a kind of uh, expressionism. And I was, and I'm still impressed by Taxi Driver, for example. And, and mm -hmm. I, remember, I remember watching again, Taxi Driver and, and watching the end of the film, the, the, the red, you know, and, and the movement at the end when Travis kills everybody in the, in the brothel. So, and, and, and I had that click, you know, to say, yeah, maybe we can, we can do the rape scene in Calvary in, in one shot with a, with a crane and in a, just like a Jerome Bosch painting, you know, to give a perspective of, you know, everything is mixed up, you know, men, uh, uh, animals, you know, every, everything is uh, at the same level. And, and, uh, and when we had that idea, we, we, uh, we, we said, oh, God could be great, but we didn't have the money to make that. So it was a, it was a, a balance to find, you know, at the beginning of the film to save money, to, to spare, you know, to make, to be able to make that, that shot at the end. And, you know, it, it's early 2000 and we didn't have a, v, a VFX uh, just like we have before now. So we, we have to co co coordinate uh, all the movement 360, you know, with the crane. We had, we had that, uh, uh, we had the, 
the, the pork, you know, the big, the big sanglier, you know, I don't know how you say that, the big pork. And we had also the, the, the calf. Uh, we have all the men and the, 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 the uh, the blood and, and the and the detonation was it was insane it was completely insane but I enjoy and also we had only uh, a half day to make it because uh, we didn't have the money to to make uh, to make it longer you know so it was insane it was insane yeah let's just I just want to talk about you real quick and your craft and everything and inspirations you have uh, what themes and subject matters interest you as a filmmaker. Everything, everything, uh, you know, interests me. Um, I'm interested by everything, at least when, when there is a point of view, you know, I'm a, uh, before, to be a cine, uh, uh, before to be a filmmaker, I'm a cinephile, uh, very uh, uh, and compulsive cinephile. So uh, I'm obsessed with the idea of cinema. So uh, I'm obsessed with the idea of the, of the cinema uh, from, from others directors. So, uh, uh, I have a, I have a very intense cinephile work. You know, I I talk to a film director. I have a show in Belgium, in France, and I have a podcast. I have a, you know, it's 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 very intense for me. Uh, but so I'm I'm interested at, to any kind of stuff. As a filmmaker, I I try to own to own my own, um, and I try to build my own voice. You know. I made some mistakes when once in a while, you know, because it's a, it's a business and sometimes you have to take some risk. And I made a film in in, in the United States. I made a, in Los Angeles. I mean, I made a film in a, in a, in in Paris with a very strong company at the time, and it was a, it went it went through a nightmare. But I realized that I'm not um, I'm not a director to hire. I try to build my own space and my own voice. Uh, so, you know, now I'm 50. I try to be more focused on what I have to do and try to improve, you know, try. Mm -hmm. um, I personally think you've had a handful of other great films released in the past decade. Uh, but I wanted to ask you, uh, what are your favorite films that have kind of come out over the past 10 years? about uh, my films or, or the, the, uh, just like other films that you've kind of enjoyed oh, in the past decade or so that's a very strong uh, very difficult um, um, you should ask me that by email I, I, I would think about that because uh, there is so many great films you know and there is so many great voices that I love so much um, of course there is a it's an industry you have a lot of lot of different film but I'm very curious about um, about filmmakers um, what can I say about the last decade I can you know and I can change my mind very easily so I, I'm very curious I, I, I don't know what to answer I'm sorry Tyler uh, okay if you want to you want to email me a list and down the road you'd be my guest um, well in terms of Calvert, though, kind of the same question. Uh, what films and directors influenced you as a filmmaker with that film, per se? Oh, well, you that's... Chainsaw and stuff, but if there were any other ones. No, I mean, Toby Hooper and Texas Chainsaw Massacre, you know, it's, it's, um, it's the beginning of a kind of a vocation because I was, um, I was raised in boarding school, you know, Catholic environment and... Uh, and um, I, I am very well um, uh, educated. You know, I was a very small kid, putting in body school, in a very strict environment, and um, and I was obsessed with cinema. You know, at the time when I was a, a boy and kid, and, and a kid, and it was the VHS, you know, um, time and. I was allowed during the weekend to rent a lot of video cassettes, you know, at the time. And, and I was watching a lot of exploitation film, Italians, UK, American, of course. And one day I discovered Texas Chainsaw Massacre. It's something, you know, something happened. My life completely changed. My perception changed. And a few years later, I discovered, you know, uh, Bill Friedkin with The Exorcist, also something that's, you know, and of course, I rediscover uh, Sam Remy with Evil Dead. And, and 
you know, it, 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 it gives you the impression that it could be, it could be a life passion. It could, you, you could embrace that life. And so, um, um, I became really obsessed with the idea of cinema, but you know, just like every film director of cinephile, you do some lists and you make some connection between film director and, and you know, uh, at the time I was younger, but um, uh, I remember trying to finance the film and it was so difficult. And I remember one day I discovered Louis Bunuel and Bunuel brings me also to something very, very sensitive because I, I'm not sure that I, I will be able, uh, I won't be, uh, I would be able to do Calvert just the way it is now without uh, have the knowledge of uh, Louis Bunuel as a filmmaker, uh, you know. So there is many, many film directors that I, I, I cherish uh, at the time, and I still cherish just Sam Peckinpah, you know, Serge Leroy in France. Uh, um, you know, there is, and also what, what is great about, about, you know, for example, the, the, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, it's, it's just like an arborescence, you know, you, you put, you, you, you put um, a straw and then you discover a forest, you know, it, and you, you know that she, when you heard that Texas Chainsaw Massacre is based from the, from the, the Ed Gein, Wisconsin story, then you, you realize that Alfred Hitchcock uh, based Psycho on that too, so you discover after Alfred Hitchcock and then you, you, you say, well, my God, what, what is it? And then you, you dig Alfred Hitchcock and then you discover the great, the, 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 the greatness of his, of his art. And then you can, you can go further and further in painting, literature, you know, uh, uh, and, and there is, it's growing all the time. It, it just like an, uh, a wide, wide, uh, uh, endless forest, you know? So I, I don't want to, close my my name you know it's still in progress but at the time i have to say i was very um, focused on on those guys you know uh, um, john borman impressed me a lot uh, of course because deliverance i was very under influence pecking uh, that i still love deeply i was deeply in love by early Scorsese film. I never saw something, a, 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 a so intense energy on film, you know? And still now, look at the mean street today, you know, what, mm -hmm. you know, it's so, in, the energy is so intense. And, and um, you know, so all that, but also um, Belgian director, just like André Delvaux, you know, was very big influence on, on me at the time. Um, so there is many, you know. <laughs> I got you, man. I got you. Uh, last question here. Uh, horror oftentimes is putting up a mirror to society. Uh, what, if any message do you have for audiences? Um, what, oh, excuse me. What, if any message do you hope for audiences to get from Calvert when they see this remaster? They have never seen it before. And that's, um, you know, I, 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 I can't. I can't, I don't know about that, you know, I, the film is the film, I, I, I really hope they will enjoy the film, they, they're going to be, they're going to be shocked in a way or another, but I don't have to deliver a message, you know, I, I'm not a postman, I, I don't give a fuck about message, I, I, I try to, just like a painter, I try to, I try, I mean, I don't say I succeed, but I try to um, let the print, you know, what, what the, the, the big, the big stuff for me, it's when the audience leave the audience, I, tr I hope that they will stay, they will have an, still an image of the film one week after and more if possible, but I, I never consider, I, I love entertaining, you know, I, I can watch many, many different films, but what I do like the best is when I go to a movie theater and, and to be shocked, surprised. And, and that's, try to, that's what I try to, to do, you know, to, to, 
to put the audience in a in a in a strange corner. So uh, I, I don't want I don't want to be uh, and I don't want to sound too much intellectual about message and stuff like that. You know, uh, the, the film doesn't own me uh, now. You know, it's been uh, almost twenty years. The film. I'm so happy that the film has a new new start now. You know, because of Yellow Veil and I'm so happy about that. It makes me so happy. You cannot imagine how happy I am about that. But I don't have a message. 